Norwalk Lock Company, South Norwalk, Connecticut. They make a lot of metal products other than locks here, and not only seek constantly for new products, but also for new manufacturing techniques. Now this man is preparing part of the mold in which will be cast a vital defense item, a key part of the three and a half inch practice bazooka rocket. That's a long name for a part, but the process of manufacturing it can be even longer, or was when these films were taken some months ago before a whole new approach was adopted. After the two bulky halves of the sand mold were carefully formed and set together, molten metal was drawn off into pouring ladles, then into the molds. One of the problems with traditional casting methods, the metal poured into the mold assumes the rough, pitted surface of the sand and thus requires a great deal of finishing after it emerges. Another, getting the casting out means shattering the mold, and that usually means dust, clouds of it. Shake out time. A time for dust masks and goggles. All foundries go to considerable lengths to control the dust problem. But another problem Norwalk Lock faced was that after the casting was clear of the mold and had been tumbled in a device that took off the last of the sand, it still had to go through numerous machinings before it had the exact dimensions required for the finished part. Extensive machining also meant frequent checks to make sure the part still had the required weight, hadn't been ground down too far. Recently, Norwalk Lock took steps to achieve those tolerances with much less effort by installing equipment of a type that has meant a drastically different casting operation. The process is called shell molding, and here's how it works. Inside the cabinet are preheated metal patterns from which the molds will be made. When they are just the right temperature, they are coated with a mixture of sand and resin, which in less than half a minute hardens into an accurate mold only a fraction the size of the sand molds we saw being made and used earlier. The two halves of the mold are simply glued together like this. Product of Shell Mold and Machine Company, one of the leaders in this new and rapidly developing field, the equipment in just 90 seconds produces a mold so light and portable it can go to the pouring ladle rather than have the ladle come to it. This is casting on an assembly line basis. Many of the contours that formerly had to be machined into the product now are molded in. So the rocket head parts move toward final assembly with that many fewer expensive, time-consuming operations. The result is more rockets in a shorter time and at less cost to the taxpayer. For as industrial advances bring down the cost of producing defense materials, competitive bidding inevitably brings down the price, just as it does in the civilian economy. Let's hope we won't have to go on indefinitely turning out instruments of war like these. But if we do, it's reassuring to know that industrial developments like shell molding now make it possible to maintain record military and peacetime production levels at one and the same time.